Welcome my friends, Halo Okraheads here. We have CWL Recap. Now, I want to mention, here's, I'm going to pause this down, but I wanted to mention a guy, uh, he's from Chosen Elite as well, he has a YouTube channel, he's called Grim. If you really like some War Recap videos, he's a really funny dude. Um, I'll link his stuff below, but he, he did the War Recap for this, but I wanted to show you this attack here, so this was my hit. <laughs> and I'm just, oh my god, I don't know what happened. The game plan was solid, but look what's cool, look at my blunders. I don't know. I, I don't know. I misclicked. You know that it happens all the time. Well, not all the time. It's happened to me before. And th look what I'm about to do. I popped the queen ability by accident. And I popped the king ability. <laughs> I thought I had switched over to my clan castle. You notice my clan castle full of bowlers <laughs> did not go down. But even with the blunder, we'll skip ahead. But even with that blunder, look how far the queen was able to get. And the king without even bowlers. <laughs> Total destruction. So I knew this, I knew that raid was going to be a three star. I'll show you that attack. Um, and who did it? Who, who hit it? Number Canadian Nomad. She hit it hard. And we had this game plan. Um, our fearless leader of Chosen Elite saw this game plan, but it's pretty standard. Look. Coming away from these infernos, really going to be able to get quiet a bit. This is the bowler trick. You've got to learn how to do that. It's pretty easy. If you have a structure in front of an archer tower, you can take it down. And a little different from mine, notice how the golem placement, that's why having a scout helps, or my blunder, the king did not come out and get my um, the golem. In my attack, the king came out, was whacking on my golem, you know, just taking it down way too early. But look, everything is going perfectly as it should. King dropping. Queen's about to come down with the bowler CC. So no worries there. The rage will go down. Now, we chose to enter, bring um, wall breakers to open this compartment um, because we wanted to jump to hit into the core. And in fact, we brought way too many wall breakers, but it didn't hurt us in the end. So nothing can take this down with the non-hound CC. Look how easy it is to get through this CC. That's why you have to use a hound. It really deters the three star um, because the queen, she's not stuck on the hound and she can take down these expos, all this sort of um, inside structures, but look at the value. Holy cow, the value of this attack. So a bad base, not good stuff indeed. Gonna have to scrap this one but a solid hit indeed. We decided to come in the air on this Tesla farm side. The hounds would tank for the loons. Supposed to be a haste here. Just forgot about the haste. But even with that blunder, which actually could be very dangerous, wizard towers and Tesla farm are very tough to get through. But because the queen was able to get down both inferno towers, you can tell the rest of the base is going to be wrecked. It did come down to the wire in the sense she only had like four loons left um, I guess that's quite a bit honestly um, but would have had more if he had, if she had that haste at the beginning would have had more loons for this section but because of the free spell freezing that um, those wizard towers it doesn't even matter he doesn't have a, oh has she has a hound up okay has a full hound up and I'm gonna lose a quite unfortunately the Tesla and the archer w were on the loons and not the hound at first so he lost way more loons than he should than she should have so but got clean up indeed look at the cleanup got the minions always want to bring at least four at least four minions um, five is a good bet but a nice triple and that triple really sealed the deal um, and thus the ten town of ten now we had a brilliant three star attack now. Stick around, guys. I'm gonna show you my 99%. Now, three CWLs in a war, I've gotten a 99% on the uh, Town Hall 10s. You already saw that one video where I shot myself in the foot, but this is a beautiful attack. Look at this, maxed out. You've probably seen these bases, very common here, uh, but gonna use the heroes to take down, honestly, just these two wizard towers. The tricky thing about these bases is that if you come, you know, you, you know, it, 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 the heroes are split from the air defenses and all these sort of um, hit points, the expos and the um, wizard towers just destroy the loons because they don't have the hound tanking. Uh, but because she, um, she was, uh, he, Hooligan, was able to take down those wizard towers, it really made the difference in this attack. Could focus on... Um, 
Now all you have to focus on is the air portion. Now look at this, gonna spam in the loons. You can take down these bases and then hounds behind it. The reason why you put the loons first because they're a little slower than the hounds behind. Then you're gonna haste, he's gonna double haste and then he's gonna double rage and then freeze on the infernos. How is he gonna get down the queen? Well look at here. All you've got to be going for is, look, the queen's gonna hop in as he knew she would. Then you put the double uh, skeleton spell. Unfortunately, not in the right compartment, but the queen was still able to drop. And look, the heal is over for this wizard tower farm. Those two wizard towers, he's got back in loons and all she wrote. The skeletons were in, some of the pups were eventually able to get down the queen. And look at that. That's how you take down a max town all 10 base. If you see bases like that, this one strategy, very powerful indeed. You know, every base has weaknesses and Hooligan exploited those to the utmost of his ability. And oh my goodness. Oh, that clutched it. So that really set the tone. Man, that was a beautiful attack. And we did win by two, but let me show you my attack because I had this plan. Did I come up with this plan? No. Well, we talked about a lot of things. You could do a queen walk. I thought about a queen walk from this angle here, and then one of our clan mates said, hey, why not just bring bowlers um, and some golems to push inside the base, and that was the game plan. Pretty much perfectly executed, except for a couple things. Um, um, a little unlucky as well. So, going to do the queen up here to the top. She's going to get an expo. She's going to get the air defense. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Splitting off the heroes. You can get it down. You can do it. Look, with her ability, she's able to get great value, and that's all that's um, she's that's needed. Now, time is going to be a factor here. I will run out of time eventually. However, um, everything's going well. Look, over here to the south, nothing can touch this wizard, so I'm just letting it funnel. Put in the golem as this wizard's coming to the gold storage because this expo would have locked onto it. And look at here. Just creating the funnel, pretty standard stuff. So once these storages are down, that's when I'll drop the jump. That's a good indication because then your bowlers have no other choice but to hit inside this queen compartment. And bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Um, so look at here, my friends. Look at here. Putting down the rage. This is going to get so much value because there's no inferno towers here. The heal is able to get every single one of my troops. Poison coming out for the CC. It is a hound in there, but look at all the damage here done. Look at this, taking down this whole core section. Archer towers going down, wizard towers going down. Nothing can stop these suckers. Everything is gonna be beautiful indeed. And all I've got left is the air and look, I got such, oh my goodness, this is a total disaster. I could have put more loons at the beginning. I only put four, should have probably put five. Loons coming up here to the north. Let, let me show you the path in here. Let me pause it down. Loons will go here, then to the Inferno. Loons will come up to the cannon, to the mortar, and they'll meet at the cannon. This is the biggest thing. You've got to get down this cannon right here. But you got to put these loons down early because if your main pack of the loons come to this air defense, you might have some drift off to the cannon, and you don't want that. You want them to push down into the core, push down into this inferno tower. Does that make sense? See, look, I brought my loons in just in time. As these are coming to this section here, then I put a couple more, and then I have these side loons to make sure they continue to push into the core. Gonna haste up this section here, gonna get down that air defense, and look at this. With the freeze, this is a, de a demolish. I was like, oh, I've got, at this moment, I had the three star. Look at this, minion, I brought minions, I dropped them in plenty of time, but look at the unfortunato thing here. I had one loon left, and I almost put it up here to the north, and I should have. But look, the king is the greatest deterrent of air on the face of the earth. Of course, the loons had to go to the king. Because he hops around, he doesn't stay in one location, they can't take him down. Look at that. <laughs> it, was, it was ridiculous. I also lost red bombs here. There was a bomb here that I didn't put my hound down. I didn't put my hound, my first hound over here to, um, to trigger it, and so I lost all those minions there. And then when the hound popped and I didn't have an archer for it, because I didn't think about it. I should have, it was my fault. Should have brought the archer. It took out the pups. And lo and behold, 
I mean, I had so many loons left, but the stupid king didn't drop. <laughs> oh my goodness. It gets me, man. That's three wars in a row. I, mean, I guess I guess it's just, you know, the curse of the 99%, I guess. It was cleaned up. We did eventually clean it up with the same strategy with the Town Hall 11. And we decided to do that because, heck, why not? So, um, that was all the Town Hall 10 triples we had. Uh, but we came out on top because they didn't have any 10 v 10 But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that video. And um, hopefully next time, uh, when we face off in the next CWL, I will not have another fail. 99%. And that I'll be able to step it up eventually and finally. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Halo.